Hello you lovely people and welcome. I'd like to uh, give a shout out to uh, one of the viewers Spitfire Flyer for giving me the heads up on the update for the C160 which I'm currently in by Azure Poly. We've just updated to 1.2.0 if I just dra drag the change log over you'll see that we've got animated paratroops and vehicles cargo drop new heads up display with fully custom display FMS now fully capable for flight plan management new FMS pages in e FLP departure arrival runway facility info and direct to new FS arc and map modes flight plan display on FS fixed fuel consumed from only one tank at once fixed APU stopping after a few minutes corrected engine sounds removed loud engine sound in multiplayer added button to refill methanol which was uh, great because that was obviously a, a glaring thing that was missing switch uh, to toggle from nav mode uh, to GPS so VLOC GPS fixed formation lights toggling wing lights new electronic flight board option to set payload weights manually that's a biggie fixed incorrect RPM hundreds indication fixed pro propeller RPM drop after touchdown fixed incorrect generator frequencies EFB update with autopilot um, VS uh, mode for vertical speed um, use working title GNS package by default possibility to hide the yoke more ergonomic autopilot pitch switch fixed IFF knob not changing transponder state fixed propeller dust effect displayed with engine off updated EFB map source small FS color changes fixed missing decals on French grey livery and several minor texture de uh, uh, fixes now this has completely changed the aircraft it's um, it was lacking certain features but it was still a, a brilliant um, add-on to the flight sim but this has just took it to the next level we've been able to drop cargo and paratroopers and now we have a HUD things like that so we're going to open the EFB uh, we've still got the uh, cold dark started takeoff all of this is just still the same if we go into the weights stick on prop dust um, you can hide the yoke from here as you can see I've already had that off uh, you can turn your co-pilot and everything off there your GPS GNS 430 switch there HUD check that bad boy out finally we don't have to keep looking down I know it's not much of a, a chore but it makes life that little bit easier and you can switch that on for the co-pilot as well so that um, when you get into the co-pilot seat it will show there um, now obviously we've still got our um, cargo uh, selections here so I'm just going to go with um, paratroopers and uh, there's a new section cargo dropping you will get this warning box cargo dropping is an experimental feature you may experience some glitches depending on your configuration and settings please find more details in the manual um, I'm not going to click to not show that again I might keep that so it pops up okay and now we've got some new um, options here so we can drop front VBL drop rear VBL drop seated troops and drop all troops so um, I've only got uh, paratroopers on board uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off from Mildenhall I'm going to head off to Stanter which is the Stanford training area which is used by the British Army, the Royal Air Force and uh, United States Air Force for various things uh, and there are army camps around there as well so this sort of thing goes on over there every now and then so uh, it's not far just down the road and we will um, we'll drop some paratroopers and then I think I'm going to try and drop a couple of VBLs just to see how that goes as well um, so yeah uh, this has gone from just uh, showing you an update to a mini flight so I hope you stick with me just to see how the uh, the cargo dropping goes so we're going to fly hide, hide the EFB actually no one will get the flight yoke back on that might help there we go and now we can hide the EFB 
Okay, um, I do have a little flight plan in, although um, I'm not going to be able to see much in that, um, which will take me to where I need to drop these paratroopers. So let's get going. Um, I'm not going to use a methanol, we've got a big enough runway. Um, take the parking brakes off, tow brakes on, throttling up. Sink on. Pull then up. Brakes off. I forgot how loud it was in here. Rotate. Brakes on. Gear up. up, trim out. Okay, we're just flying over the old uh, RAF base of RAF Watton, which was home to Eastern Radar at the time. You can see Honington, uh, Lake and and Mildenhall all over there. Uh, I'm going to open the back up now, get ready to drop the guys off. Um, so we're going to Open that and go to green. Stick on the horn. Now I'm going to click oh, drop all troops and I'm going to jump outside. And there go the guys. Great stuff. Now I'm going to swing it around and try it with um, some cargo. Alright, so I've got two VBLs loaded VBL, VBL1 and VBL2. Go to the cargo uh, dropping uh, section here. We've got drop rear, drop front. So, what we'll do, uh, I'm just doing a 180, head back into Stanter. And we're going to drop these VBLs off for the lads that we just dropped off. And again, I will go to the outside view and watch them being dropped. So we get the back open again. Okay, get the green light on. Aiming for these sort of this field here. There's the army camp. I think it might be Bodney, I'm not 100 percent sure. So we're gonna drop the rear VBL now, jump outside. goes. Excellent. And we're going to drop the front VBL. And away it goes. Excellent. Absolutely love that. I mean, look how far away and the animation is still going on. That's fantastic. Nice work, Azure Polly. Very good. Well, I think I've shown a few of the uh, capabilities of the update. Uh, I'll let you delve in, and uh, I'm not great with FMSs, so you can go in and do your own little bits and pieces there. Um, but yeah, I hope that's just uh, shown you some of the awesome new capability of the latest update. And again, thank you Spitfire Fly for giving me the heads up. So, um, yeah, if you got this far, thank you very much. And as always, take care, and I'll see you in the next one.